hi guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl stella Jean. so today we are going to for that classy makeup tutorial you know you want to up the notch for like those simple makeup you want to take it up a little bit if something you want to put please do keep on watching don't forget to subscribe give you a good like big thumbs up if you like the video with now do let's go into this so i started off by cleaning my face first had to clean up because i was outside after cleaning i moisturize I always make sure to your skincare skincare is very important guys and i use ps baby lotion for this this is what i use to moisturize after that, I go in with Zaron Face Primer. Apply this all over my face. You know, this primer is supposed to reduce pores and whatnot, but I have very oily face and it doesn't do justice. So I always go in with this translucent powder applied first before since my oil control is finished so i'm going in with the translucent powder first i remember like um there's this creator on here so i make these two foundations the zaron and the flawless iv foundation zaron in 600 flawless in ebony that's i think that's your darkest shade then i set in the whole place like i apply my setting spray then i start blending so that translucent part like there's this um there's this creator jackie she has always been applying that this, this i'll be like no no but there was no need since i'm always using very matte oil control so there was no need but now my all control is finished so i have to substitute so i'm using that for my concealer what's the shade name that's the flawless iv concealer and the flawless iv foundation in the shade ebony as my contour so i'm applying this first then i go in with my should i call it this is not actually contour i'm just bronzing my face you see this foundation is not that not that dark but it's a, a a shade darker than me and this foundation oxidize when it gets dry it's always darker than it looks so i apply it on my hairline my cheeks so I, to accentuate my cheekbone like trying to make it pronounced on my forehead guys i always try to make my forehead look smaller and for my concealer I don't really like taking it all the way up because my forehead is big already it's big already so there's no need of me calling attention to it with the highlight so after blending out I use the side I use for my um, foundation to blend it all in so there will be no harsh lines as you guys can see so you see that my nose are looking very flat out so i use my contour to shape my nose guys i'm always saying be careful how you do your nose because how you do it how you're going to be looking the whole day so and to take your time too while doing your nose some people like using like just the powder but i i've come to realize like liquid product lasts longer than the powdered version i think um, when you're using powder as you're sweating that's how the it's reducing so i now apply my concealer using that red for my blush so like i was saying the liquid ones last longer especially with the blush have you noticed like you apply blush before you it's always even to us the blush is not showing anymore because it was powder like you use those powder blushes i've noticed that so i like using 
liquid first then if i like i can go over it with the powder but sometimes i just leave it like that just set it up without applying the powder version excuse me unless i want to cover up like i will unless after blending out everything i've lost the the blood before i applied the powdered version so i'm now blending out my concealer with my damn beauty sponge and guys i i, I think i said this in my last video my left side is always looking like feeling somehow when I'm blending my left side. So when I'm blending, before I start blending my concealer, I've made sure that my setting powder is ready. I've made sure my setting powder is on a standby because I want to set it in immediately. So I go in with that blush again too. Clean up those harsh lines caused by that blending of that concealer. Then I set it in immediately. I lock everything in. And guys, you see, I've dust out the excess powder in my hands before I go in with it. And since I have smile lines, it's from this side that I'll start dealing with my smile lines. I'll just smile one side and I'll press it in because I don't want with the half smile lines i make always start creasing by that place you see areas around your mouth to start breaking yeah it happens to me yeah so i'm using that to contour and the other one as my face powder i shouldn't even call it contouring to bronze my face Trying to reduce the forehead again. People are like, ah, you always you're obsessed about this. Your forehead not that big. It's big. Then I go in with my finishing powder to set all over my face. You know that everything will be all blended. For my brows, brush out with a spoolie, then go in with the Davis number no. 3 eye pencil to line, draw my outline, to outline my eyes, my brows, what am I saying, oh my goodness. And I don't like dragging my brows any more really down like this in I don't like dragging it down because I feel like when you're dragging it down, it's bring, dragging your face down too. So I use a very sharp edge to draw hair like trance in the beginning of the brows. I clean out the brows with my concealer. After cleaning out, I blend it in with my middle finger. Guys, this middle finger method, very, very important. Oh, is a life changer if you are doing yourself makeup because if you try to use your beauty sponge later it might spoil your brows a little bit because you will not be looking you will not be seeing if it's really touching your brows so i now go in with that same concealer as my eyeshadow base and i set it in immediately I think the worst part of the face to crease very fast is the eyes. You know those lines in the eyes? Crease very fast. So I'm using the City Girl Eyeshadow Palette by Flawless. I'm using that one as my first color. That orange as my transition. And that brown as my main color. Then I now I will go in with that one after the black. Because I realized after the black I will need something very close to black. So that it will help in blending if i go in with the orange so i now carry the black i stamp it down i'm not just stamping it i was having so much fallout i was like wow if i don't put powder under my eyes before i'm done this place that i conceal will be very dark so i go in with 
my setting powder and I baked slice place it there so that it will cash out all the fallout then I go in with that brown shade the one I told you guys about to start blending out the black black makeup and um, black shadow is never easy never easy to blend out so you take your time guys I like every time when I say I'm using black I take my time to blend I blend I blend you have to be very patient with yourself too then I go in with that orange shade with a very fluffier brush to blend everything in again I think when people are saying ah, you spend so much time doing makeup you spend so much time don't know you you have to blend because if you don't blend you'll be looking somehow like as if you are just taking mud and be stamping on the wall you want your makeup to look good you have to blend it out so that's my that's the other of the day the brown it was looking brown in the palette but it's not looking really brown on my eyes but it, let me just call it brown since it was looking brown in the palette and i didn't want it to be very precise the application i wasn't going for those precise eyeshadow look so i go in with that blending brush again to try to clean out that line that it showed that it was like i cut crease first i didn't want it that look go in with my fluffy brush to clean out my baking go in with my lashes guys i've shown you guys how my how i apply my lashes several times like it stays all day and it makes it very easy very beginner friendly too so i pop it on go in with my i mix some um two shade to keep that this thing for my waterline then i go in with another brown to smoke it out set everything in with my setting spray you know i've applied so much powder using that red that's the red that brings out like i don't know red lipstick is always elevating look and guys nigeria happened to me so i had to go outside to show you guys the final look hope you learned something from today's video don't forget to give your girl a big thumbs up subscribe until next video